Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. We are going to be talking about the damage or just being normal, how well it is to get the high rounds, and how well the damage is in Pack a Punch. But before we get into the video, I just like to say if you do enjoy this video, then go ahead, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon once you subscribe so you don't miss future uploads. But with that out of the way, let's get on to the video. So the first weapon that we are going to be looking at is the Reich's Revolver. Now this is a decent weapon. It's not too bad looking. It looks like a, uh, a Western Revolver like it should. And the damage without pack a punch and without adding any attachments is 7 damage. Now if we compare that to the 9mm staff, or 9mm SAP, it has 4 damage at the beginning. And all of these are starting pistols, so you can select these all as your starting pistol. So I'd say this is pretty decent for it being a starting pistol right off the bat. On round 6, it is going to take about 1.5 rounds, which each round carries 6 bullets, which isn't too bad. You're able to spam the weapon which helps in situations when you're in a corner and you have to shoot their heads in order to get out. It's almost always two or three shots to the head on round six, so it shouldn't be that bad. And the pack a punished version of this has 16 rounds already in it and 576 rounds in backup storage. So considering the damage on this, it's pretty decent since you're, you know, able to spam and you'll have lots of ammo. Would I be able to go to high rounds with this? I'd say I'd be able to go to round like 25. This is not the ideal weapon to go to high rounds with. The second weapon that was introduced into the game from this latest update is the Enfield number 2. And this thing also looks like a revolver like it should. It deals 8 damage at the beginning without any attachments or it being pack a punch. So once again we're going to the 9mm sap. This does 4 damage, the Enfield does 8, and the Reich does 7. So already I think the Enfield number 2 is the better option of the two, but it has a slower fire rate, which means you're not going to be able to spam like you're able to do with the Reich's revolver. You are able to have rapid fire on it, which increases the fire rate to about the same as the Reich's revolver, but I doubt anybody's going to have rapid fire on their pistols. The ammo capacity is the same as the Reich's revolver, it is 6, but it does the same amount of damage as the 9mm S. AP but has less fire rate and that that takes away some stuff it also has less ammo capacity than the 9mm SAP which isn't that great especially since the 9mm I'm just gonna call it the, the SAP since the SAP has is already a god weapon that you can start out with right away and when pack a punched it's a two shot and feel also a two shot on round six just like the sap now the sad thing about this is when you pack a punch the Enfield number two, the ammo capacity doesn't increase. This needs to be fixed. Otherwise, I would be using this all the time. It needs to be like the Reich's revolver where it increases to like 200 capacity instead of 18 and 16 capacity rather than 6. Until this happens, I would suggest not to use the Enfield or the Reich's revolver. These need a buff and I know they're pistols, they're not supposed to be that great, but look at the 1911 and the 9mm SAP. Those two weapons are gods. I mean, the 1911s, they explode in every single game with dual wield, and the 9mm SAP just annihilates the zombies since you're able to spam the weapon and has increased damage, so they're basically one, two shots all the way up to round 30. For now, just use the 9mm SAP. Just don't use them 
unless you want to try and see if you like them. I personally don't, and I personally think not to use them. But that is my opinion. I would like to know yours in the comment section down below. So thank you all so much for watching, and I will see all of you in the next video. Bye-bye.